before we start this video, be sure to like and subscribe, because there's going to be more awesome videos coming your way, and you're not going to want to miss out on the fun. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be giving you guys an empty house tour on my house. And what I mean by empty house tour is that my house isn't finished yet. So we're going to have to do this house tour with basically what I have done with right now. And before Christmas, I am going to finish my house for real. Everything on the house is going to be finished. There's going to be some areas where nothing is um having a door on or anything think throughout the house but right now we're just going to go through the house with what we have so far so let's go ahead into my garage because my garage is new um and everything so right here is my garage i spent yesterday trying to light this thing up because it was very dark it was like 100 percent dark so there's some new lights in here um so far we're supposed to have some cars in here it's supposed to be filled up with cars, so there's supposed to be like cars all around here, which I think there's supposed to be five cars right here. So I'm supposed to have seven cars in this entire um this entire garage. So yeah. This area I did finish up this area, but we'll come back to this area. And then down in this area, I think you guys you guys saw this area a little bit before. Just leads down to the elevator, but we'll do the elevator soon when we get down to that area but this is my garage anyways we'll just go right to the front door now so now we're at my front door and um right around here it's it's pretty nice you can see that little lone window up there um but yeah we go into my front door and it looks so beautiful right here i'm just gonna say this says looks so beautiful so this is my little entryway, my foyer, whatever you like to call it. And it has these two stairs that lead up into the house. And you have over here is my kitchen and over here is my living room. But let's go and take a look down here. So these are two new rooms that I've recently decorated. So if we close the door, so this is a, this is a room that kind of has this little light right here that you can turn on and off. I think that looks adorable. We'll have some books and some nice little decorations around here. And you can close the curtains. But I leave this one open. And there's gonna there's two side windows here, but I leave those curtains closed. Oops, we do not want to change the image. Okay, we do not want to change the image. We want to open this. Yep, and then right in there. And then this room also has a little private bathroom. So these bathrooms are very outdated. Um, I'm going to be editing these bathrooms, I think. I feel like that, they, that there is room that we can edit with the showers and everything but I do like this is a new thing that I added with the door so yeah this is the bathroom this is how every single bathroom looks so we're not going to look at every single bathroom in the house so when I say there's a bathroom this is what the bathroom looks like so yeah, now let's go to the next room so I have some bills to pay so let's pay those bills okay so now we're going to go over to the next room over here in this room right here, it's a new bedroom. I recently decorated this bedroom. Um, but yeah, I recently decorated the bedroom with a little bed. And kind of like this is like a little small closet area with a mirror. And we have a dresser here. So yeah, I think this is a, this is a good room and everything with how it is so far. So yeah, this is this is the little this is the little bedroom. So yeah, now we're gonna go back into the foyer and we're gonna take you upstairs yeah we're gonna do the upstairs now since we're up here so out here is my little balcony um so the this area is not even finished yet so right now you just walk around the balcony and everything you can see that the flooring is not finished on the balcony but yeah the balcony isn't finished yet so now we're gonna come down this hallway and see out there's the balcony but this is a this is a guest bedroom so i made this clear this is a bed guest bedroom it used to be one of my sister's bedrooms but they did not like the room it was too small for them so this is now a guest bedroom i turned it into a guest bedroom we come down here this room isn't finished and through this wall right here is supposed to be a bathroom so i didn't add the door to this but through there it's supposed to be a bathroom i'll show you guys when i go into build mode but yeah, this is this is going to be a bedroom. It's not finished yet, so this is one of the rooms I'm going to show you when it is finished. So now we're going to come down here to the last room that is on the second floor on this side. This is a bedroom with a private bathroom. I'm going to open it up. 
literally every single bathroom is the same. Um, but this is the bedroom. This is my sister's bedroom. She switched her bedroom to be here because that's what she wanted because it was big. So, um, yeah, this is the bedroom and these blinds open right here so you can look outside. But I have the blinds closed and if you, if they want the blinds open, they could have the blinds open. So let's go downstairs now. So we're going to take ourselves downstairs and we're going to go downstairs into the living room. And I love the living room. So the living room is very decorated for Christmas, as you can see, Christmas. The Christmas tree with some Christmas presents under here. Um, on Christmas Eve, I'll be filling up this Christmas tree to have a lot of presents under. I really wish that the presents were something different. And you all here, this is something new. So th this balcony has always been like this, but there's never been a door that goes to this balcony. Because what's supposed to go right here? here is the right here is supposed to be the um fireplace but i didn't put a fireplace in here and then right here is just supposed to be windows but i didn't didn't like that i wanted to be able to get out to the balcony so we made it so that you can get out to the balcony through here but yeah my living room is so beautiful it is a very high ceiling as you can see because you can walk through there everything i really like this because it is very modern with these windows what it used to be is it kind of was like arched windows a little bit. And I didn't really like it because it wasn't modern. So in here is a bathroom. I can legit show you again that it's just the same as every other bathroom in this house. So we're going to go into this next bedroom. So this next bedroom could be a guest bedroom or could be someone's bedroom. Out in here we have a nice closet with some towels. Um, some nice linen closets. I really like the color linen for the wood types. And these walls for linen. I really like them. I feel like that it's not so overused in this house, but I really like the linen. And then again with the blinds, you can open them and look outside. I think you this is the best place that you can just look outside. And this has another balcony. Oh yeah. I forgot I added the door to the balcony right here. So yeah, this is another balcony. And you couldn't even get to this balcony before because it was just because right there just used to be the windows again. And yeah, the balconies are the best part of the house. I really like the balconies. And now we're going to come down to this area. And this area is a brand new room. So if you were to look at the video that I said in the last... So if you already checked the la my last video, I, I talked about how this house was the Beverly Hills Mansion from one of those YouTubers. This, house, this room would not be in the plans. So I just legit added the room with the windows. When I, when I originally added this room, the windows weren't a thing. And I decided, you know what, let's have windows. Because if you look at it, I didn't really want it to be windows coming out from the mountain. But I'm like, you know what? It would actually look pretty nice. And it came out really good. So in here, another room that wasn't in the plans of the house is the laundry room. And I took about an hour decorating this because I wanted it to be perfect and correct. So it took me about an hour decorating the laundry room. I really liked it. If we come down this hallway, it's... it's really decorated and down here i talk about this leads to the stairs to the um garage so i think it there's nothing supposed to be down here it's just a few lights um look, let's go into this room so this room right here is our locker room because out here we have our pool the pool isn't finished once the pool is finished i'll show you that and now in here is the brand new room so in the and the floor plans and the plans for the house from the youtube video this is supposed to be showers but in this place, it is actually now a gymnasium to get up your athletic skill. And you have the you have a little TV, so you want to have TV playing while you're working out, or you just want to sit and talk and just have the lamp on. And these, this looks outside because if you can see out here, these are some brand new windows with my inflatable right there that we put down in the last video. Um, but yeah, that and then we have this little door that goes out here to the pool which will overlook the other side of the house and we have this gate out here i'm probably gonna put like a little pathway out there okay this house isn't finished from the last video you guys saw it cost like seven hundred thousand dollars but now it cost eight hundred and nine thousand eight hundred seventy six dollars it's getting expensive now my bills only cost about two thousand dollars um so we're gonna go back out to the foyer Okay, so now we're back at the foyer, and we checked the front part of us, the upstairs, and this side of the house. And now we actually have to do this side of the house, which you guys just saw in a little sneak peek, a little snippet of it a little bit. 
So in here we have our dining area and it more doors it to take us out to the pool area. Um, you can see that I can leave the corn maze right here. It's presented to me and you have this little dining area. Um, a, a few seats that could fit a few people in the house. And then you have the renovated kitchen. So if you were to check the video, the kitchen does not look like this because there's actually supposed to be a wall here, but I cut that down. And then I added a new island with some brand new chairs on here with some things. You actually saw this part of the kitchen when I was um, when I was in the last video. But yeah, I love the kitchen. I always want to make sure my kitchens and any house I create, even if it's for my friends, that the kitchens are supposed to be a place where you go to when people are over, you go to the kitchen because that's where most people hang out. Sometimes it's in the kitchen. I really love the kitchen, even though in real life, I don't usually cook, but I love kitchens. I like big, open, spacious kitchens with a nice island where you can have more counter space, nice cabinets with a big fridge, um, some a really good oven, and all of this. I feel like it is so good. I love it so much. I just love the kitchen so much. And in here, we have um, the baby's room. In the original floor plans of the house, this room wasn't actually here because um, the that video was made before the baby update and once the baby update came I wanted to decorate a room that was a nursery that babies could sleep in and when you turn off the lights it's supposed to get dark but not too dark because you know sometimes people are afraid of the dark but it's, it's very nice and spacious I love it it has all the things you need for a baby um, two babies to be exact um, but yeah and you can already see that now I forgot something right here which Oops, I do like to forget things when I'm building, but up here, we're going to go up here later because this is actually a new section of the house that I, that I recently did. Now here you have your little lamp, a window that looks outside. So the outer backs of the, uh, the outer parts of the house are actually brand new. I actually just finished the outer parts of the house. And here, this room is not even finished yet. It's going to be another bedroom. I just started decorating it a little bit because, you know, I wanted to decorate it. I feel like it's really nice to decorate and everything. I really love decorating. My main ability is decorating. I'm not that very good of a builder, so I usually use YouTube tutorials, and then everything inside is always just me. I just love decorating. Interior design is what makes the house good. Like You don't really have to have a good outside of your house. The people don't care what the outside looks, looks like. The interior is the things that I really love because the interior is a part of the house. It's where you're going to spend most of your time and you want it to be much more cozy and everything for the interior. So that's where I went through with this house. And actually, these linen wood walls, they were actually an accident and then I actually ended up liking them. So yeah, accidents can happen and you could actually like accidents. So yeah, and here's a bathroom that isn't finished yet, so we're going to have a private bathroom. This might be one of the renovated bathrooms that I do, so we'll see. But yeah, that's that's it for this hallway. It's not finished. This area is not finished yet. It will be finished soon. And I really like right over here. I don't think I showed this, but right over here, this is something new to the house um, with the structural items. I really like the design on here. It just gives it like a little bit of a touch just so it's not all bare and stuff like that. There's some decorations around. So now we're going to go up these stairs um, and down over here. There's supposed to be a, there's supposed to be rooms. So I'll go into build mode and we'll see those rooms. But for right now, we're going to continue doing the house with what it is. But in, in within this wall, there's supposed to be a room. And you can see you can look outside through this window. It looks it looks, it looks looks really pretty. And then the, these stairs right here, they're not in the original plans. So they're brand new stairs in the house. I really wanted to have some stairs because the elevators can sometimes get annoying. But yeah, and then in here you have your elevator that we can call the elevator. You guys already seen the elevator if you watched the last episode, if you watched the last video. But we can show you the elevator. So I, the elevator, this is one of the brand new elevators. In the original video, it was before they added all the elevators that they have now. So I did a little modern elevator because I just love modern homes. And we can see again, I forgot something. But yeah, I really think that this looks really nice and neat. And you can look outside through here and this that's the little loan video loan window and now we enter the my bedroom and here is my bedroom with my closet um my closet's not my closet is dark i like it being dark um because it just with a lot of dark accent tones you have your light and everything it just it just ties the room together in here 
and then you have this little image that we got to change and look at this it is decorated for christmas as well because i love christmas christmas is my favorite holiday i just love christmas so we have this little seating area over here i added this seating area because you know why not we have a little piano some ariana grande pictures because i love ariana grande we have some nice christmas decorations with my trophies in here there's gonna be some new trophies when i get to level 10 of um, cooking and all of that and you have my bed over here it took me a while to design this bed taking after what the um old um house was and everything and this, we don't actually have curtains on these windows, but on these windows we do. I might add curtains to these, I don't know. But if we open this up, we actually do also have a balcony. I might have to edit that window a little bit because um, the that doesn't look really good to, in my opinion. But yeah, we have a little balcony and it just looks, just looks beautiful with this house being so modern and like, if you look at the video, it's going to look so different now that you walk through my house and you see everything. But the floor plan is actually the, the same, but just minor differences change the entire house. And I feel like that's, that's really what is the goal here is to have minor changes to the house. Now that we've gone through, oh, wait, you haven't gone through the entire house yet. Oh, my God. I forgot that I have a bathroom in here. This is actually going to be a new and renovated bathroom. It's bigger than the other bathrooms because it's supposed to be a single door and a big door for a bathtub. But we're actually going to see how we can transform the old bathroom and the old and the old build to become a new bathroom in a more updated Bloxburg style. Because if you look at it, we have a lot of structural items. We had a lot of basic shapes that we could do. And there's a lot of potential that we can use for bathrooms and design and interior design. And I can't wait to do those. So those will be done. You'll see the entire house again when it's finished because it's not even finished so a lot of these things you see now could change in the future but now we're gonna go and we're gonna go into build mode so i'll see you guys when we're in build mode okay so now we're in build mode and we're gonna take a look at some of the rooms that we haven't had that i didn't put doors on and stuff like that so on the first floor we've seen the entire first floor of it being decorated so the entire first floor for now is decorated with these things in here not being decorated and everything. So we've seen the rooms with stuff. With things in them. But the only thing we have left is upstairs. Which in here there's supposed to be a bathroom. It's a little bit bigger than the other bathrooms. But I might have this as a redecorated bathroom and everything. So the bath bathroom is supposed to be right there. And then in here my bathroom you can see that. Different from the other bathrooms. And in here here's that other room with the balcony that we're supposed to have. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this room. The original plans was a um, library. Might continue to use it as a library. I don't know yet. The who knows. Because this room is going to be a room that I go into sometimes. Not all the time. I won't go into this room all the time. I might break it up a little bit and just make it like a, a few separate rooms or things like that. I don't know yet. So it's all up to what I decide for this. So that's really with the house doors. Like. 98% of my house is finished right now, and I'm really enjoying it. So now, let's get out of build mode, and I'll see you guys right on some of the out, outer parts of the house for the outdoor tour. Okay guys, we're now going to do the outdoor tour. So you can see right now, the house is not finished on the outside. It's not finished on the outside, right here, and everything. So this right here is a new design for the entryway to the Beverly Hills Mansion, which is now the modern mansion. Um, and, and it looks really nice with the mountains around with the big Christmas tree up there but yeah and then with the new fence gates and you have all of these Christmas decorations out here which are just so beautiful and out here this is the this is one thing that took me about two hours to make two hours to design and two hours to put together so just two hours we have this little barbecue area I really like it it uses new vines it, it has two picnic benches you can sit with you can sit with your family members and talk to people and you can grill with the nice um some tea and some drinks that you could have and just all of this with the cooler some cinder blocks for decoration and these lights i think i think this area is very pretty and you can see how much decorated this is and using some new trees the pine trees 
um, they weren't in the original build, but they're now in this build. And you can see how much decorated the house is for Christmas, because I love Christmas and everything. And over here, this is something new. So in the old plans of the house, right over here was the was the tennis court. But, you know, I really didn't run a tennis court at my house, because I really wanted this, you know, um, blocked off area. It might not be blocked off in the future. It depends on what I want. Using some structural items for the top, we have our nice little pond garden area and these waterfalls need to be on but it's I think this is really beautiful and everything and you have your little pond area which this is this was the secondary pool for the house but it's a nice little pond the pond is not finished this area is not finished you have your little um, rock climbing wall you have your swings um, you have your little garden tools as you can see because we have you know, have garden tools in the game. You have your little trampoline that people could use. It's it's really nice. It's, it's enjoyable. Then you have your um, fountain with you know a seating area if you want to have if you want to chat or eat and stuff. I think that this area looks very pretty. I really love it. Um, but I think that's it for the empty house tour. Um, I really showed everything on the outdoors of the house. And if you if you want to see more, after this house is finished, I'll be doing a full detailed house tour after that. But this is the end of the empty house tour. So I want to thank you guys again for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.